What is up guys, Carl here. This is the Duet 3 tool board. It's an additional board for your Duet 3 motherboard and a great companion if you're running a direct drive extruder setup on your FDM 3D printer. It has its own driver for your extruder motor and all of the connections that you can just bunch up into two cables going back to your motherboard. It's a neat board, but there are some things that I think can be changed and I would like to share my opinions with you. So let's get in a bit closer, see what I think, changes I made and what I would like to see in the future. So let's do it. So going up close and personal, you can see it's a small little board spanning 47 by 54 millimeters. Comparing that to a NEMA 17, you can see it's something that easily would fit on a direct drive setup. It has a ARM Cortex processor to control everything on the board and a Trinamic driver for your extruder motor. The connectors, as you can see, are quite different and I'll get into that in a moment. Um, but I believe it comes with 10 different connectors, so you need to factor it in and it's not something that's usually done on the motherboard itself. But power in is 12 to 32 volts and this is for your CAN connection, so your data is connected here. You have two fan ports, one with PWM control. You have your heater connector. You have two ports for your temperature center and also two for additional things like a end stop or if you want to have something otherwise or filament sensor or so on comes with also a connector for a C probe. So you can have a lot of things connected to a smaller board and use two wires going back to your motherboard. So as mentioned, I've done some changes as you can see and um, comparing to uh, the standard setup, which comes with these, I believe Phoenix connectors, I believe I'm not sure that they uh, call them that, but those are the ones that usually makes them. What I don't like about these is that they have really small screws up here and it's easy to break the connector down here if you screw on too tight. So sure, it's it might be a bit more secure if you have your connections screwed down instead of having a connector. But these JST PH connectors are really strong and they also have these little holes for clasps as well. So you need to really get stuck or pull something to make them come loose. And uh, as mentioned, they have 10 different connectors, which I see as a issue from a product management standpoint, because what you want to do is keep the bill of materials low. So adding all of these connectors, you have more bill of material and um, it also creates some annoyance for hobbyists like me because they, they haven't used these CH connectors from also JST. So I can understand that they want to reduce the size of the board, but these connectors, I could pretty easily replace them with these JST connectors. And uh, Sure, you need to desolder them and probably lose warranty, but it's an easier setup. I didn't manage to replace the um, heater connector with a VH, I think these are called. Uh, it's the same that's on your motherboard for both the, the drive motors and your heaters. Of course, it's not a good idea to have exposed pins on an output because if those two short together, that's not good. But on the on the wiki for these, they do tell you to add a fuse from your motherboard. So that's something that I would like to see in the next revision to just reduce the amount of cables. You can buy a cable kit from them, but uh, it would just be easier to go the same route as your motherboard as well. This pH connector is standard um, and of course I've changed it to the same size going with the uh, four pin for 
the C probe and the fan, the PWM fan connector, and two ports and three ports for your fan and sensor. Uh, additional thing that I would like to see, I don't run this with the tool distribution board, which you can purchase separately. So what they tell you to do is use a uh, RJ11 connector, which goes into your motherboard, uh, snip off the cables, and then you attach just two of them going into this. What you have to do also is connect a resistor, 120 ohm resistor, to the rightmost connectors. And what I would like to see is them adding maybe a jumper here. So in case you're running without the tool, board, the tool distribution board, you can just add a jumper and you would be set. You, didn't, you just have to clamp the two cables. So it's, as mentioned, a great addition and I am happy, but uh, these upgrades that I've done have made it more useful for me. So what do you think? Share it down in the comments. Um, hope they come with an updated revision to make it even easier for us as hobbyists, because I do like the idea of bunching up all your cables into just two going back. Because usually you have to run four, five, six cables and you might need a special or an extra large cable drag chain for it. So that was a quick little look at the Duet 3 toolboard. Again, a great little companion, especially if you're running a direct drive setup. And I think it will only get better in future revisions. Do you have any thoughts and comments? Please share them below. And I'll see you next time.